back. He's not books, Megan. Look at his hogs. Super fine cloth and a heavy swell cut. Nothing but a gentleman. Delighted to see you looking so well, my dear. The artful daughter shall give you a new suit. For fear you should spoil that Sunday one. Why didn't you write, my dear, and tell us you were coming? We would have got you something new for supper. Hello, what's that? That's mine. <coughs> no, no, my dear, it's mine, Bill. Mine. You can have the books. That's not mine. Mine are Nancy's, that is. And I'll take the boy back with me again. Come on, hand over. Oh, but this is hardly fair, Bill. Hardly fair, is it? Do you think Nancy and he's got nothing else to do with all precious time that's been the chasing after young kids? Give it here. You avaricious old skeleton, give it here. That's for our share of the trouble, not half enough neither. Here. Start a library. You can't keep the books from Mr. Brown Logan. If he finds out you've got them, he'll be after you. He'll be after you, will he? What did you tell him about us? Nothing. That remains to be seen. But if I found it, you said anything, anything I put begging, I'll wait till you don't stand with someone else. Oh, oh. Stand off me, I'll split your head against the wall. I don't care for that, Bill. The child shan't be harmed unless you kill me first. Shanty, I'll send you that. You don't keep on. Oh, all right, all right, we've got the boy here now, Bill. What's the matter? The girl's gone mad, I think. No, she hasn't, baby! Then keep quiet, will you? No, I won't keep quiet. Violent. Shall you run away, would you? I won't say violent, you dumb Bill. You got me, what more would you have? Let him be. Let him be! I shall put my mark on someone and not care for the consequence. Oh, Nancy, you're a wonderful guy. Such talent. What an actress. Am I? Take care, I don't overdo it. Because I'm warning you. I'll put my finger on some of you and I don't care playing with you. You? Do you know who you are? And what you are? Ah, oh, yes. I know all about it. Who I am and what I am. Well, keep quiet. Oh, quiet, you good for a good long time to come. You're a nice one. Coming with all this humane and genteel rubbish. Pretty subject for the child to make a friend of <laughs> Lord help me, I am. And I wish I'd been stuck dead in the street before I left it and bring him here. After today, he's a thief. A liar, and all that's bad from this day forth. It's not enough you without beating him to death. Come, come, Bill. We must have civil words, Sykes. Civil words. Civil words? Yes, you deserve them from me. I thieved for you when I was a child, had his age, and for twelve years since. Don't you forget it. Oh, you take care of her, Bill. You, look out to him. A man's got a heart, has it he? Jerking apart, has it he? And though I'd be the first to admit that it wasn't a sight, I'm finding it hard to be really as black as they paint. I'm reviewing the situation, and I fell up in your villain all his life. All the trials and tribulations. Better settle down and give me several wives. A wife would cook and serve for me and come for me and go for me and go for me and nag at me. The figure she would wag at me, the money she would take from me, the misery she'd make of me. I think I'd better think it out again. Who can help me make a real impressive show? I 
I learned the seat at Claridge's and run a fleet of carriages and labored all the duchesses with friendliness as much as is befitting to my new estate. Tomorrow to you, magistrate. Uh oh. Oh, I think I'd better take this out again. I think I'd better think it out again. Hey! 